Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the art of archery. Hi, my name is Samira Duncan. I am 26 years old. I am a professional archer as well as a graphic designer. Today we have the privilege of interviewing Samira, a talented archer who has mastered this ancient discipline. My background in archery started when I started watching Lord of the Rings and I really liked Legolas and since then I have always been fascinated with the sport. When I started archery was about I think it's roughly uh, 10 years ago um, when I was with, at the Rifle Association, their shooting range, and they mentioned that they have archery equipment and they wanted to start it in the country. And I was very excited from hearing that and I just went straight from there. So from there we had an American coach that came in and he taught us um, professional archery and I've been trying to grow it since then. My training regimen, I think everyone's training regimen would be a little different um, regarding the different body types and the, type, um, the heaviness of the bow that they pull. For mine, I generally try to, I do morning workouts, so I generally focus on training like my back muscles, my arm muscles. Um, generally having stamina to stand for long hours at the time is also very important, so doing any sort of running exercise or any jumping exercise is also pretty good. For my focus, yeah, archery is a very disciplined sport and you have to be focused on this line. If you even remotely lose focus on this line, something could go wrong and you will not get your shot. It's a very, it's a very precise sport and when I'm on the line at least, for me, I just stare at the target. I, after I go through my entire shooting process, I stare at the target and I just say yellow, 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 yellow <laughs> to bring my mind into focus straight on it, on it and that generally works for me. Some people might sing songs or repeat a phrase in their head, anything that helps them to just zone in on the, on the, when they're on the line. Um, I think one of my most memorable moments in archery when I had now started out, I mostly was getting second place all the time. And it was disappointing for me because when I was in practice and whatnot, I was doing really well. But when I actually came to the competition, something was going wrong. One of the most memorable moments for me there was when I finally overcame my anxiety while on the shooting line and I got my first first. And since then, it's been great. After being in archery for 10 years, I went to my first international competition last year, September, um, in Dominican Republic. I ended up going alone because we didn't have many archers in the sport at that time. Being there and having, okay, so while I was there, I was adopted by quite a few teams, the Jamaican team and also the American team. And they had such nice camaraderie and stuff like that, that I wanted that for my country as well. So. I, when I came back, I was inspired to train more people and that's how I ended up starting the Natural Club. And uh, honestly, it's been fun to train and help people with the sport. People seem to very much enjoy it and it's very much fun. It helps with motivation, it helps with discipline, it helps with anxiety. It generally helps with focus overall and I very much like to share that with people around me. In the next five years of archery, I am hoping that we have um, honestly lots of facilities where we could, where people could practice wherever they are. I'm hoping that we could qualify for a lot more international competitions, hopefully including the Olympics. So the advice I would give to anybody who wants to pursue archery is that um, don't come with don't come with fear of the sport and don't come expecting to get better right away. It is a sport that requires so much discipline that it takes a while for that to master as well. 
and uh, if you get frustrated very easily, that's something that you'll have to calm down whilst you're on the line, because if you don't control the sport, the sport will control you.